Hey, what's happening? This is Spot Too Tight. And today I'm going to be demonstrating a new product from Sound Yeti um, called Ambition. And this is definitely for all you film composers and TV composers out there. Um, you know, I was approached by Sound Yeti uh, to demonstrate their product, um, see if I was interested in taking a look at their new software. Um, and, you know, I said, man, I couldn't pass it up. Um, I've seen a couple of other products they've used in the past, and um, they're a really great company, and they really make some great quality stuff. So I was really anxious to get my hands on it and see what it was all about. Um, so this is going to just be a typical demonstration, um, software navigation on the GUI. And what I did also is I created a small little one-minute track of using the sounds exclusively from Ambition. Um, no, no other software I was using, no VSTs. This is strictly going to be an Ambition type of demo song I, I'm doing at the end. Um, so you can see uh, the potential uh, of, the, of the sounds and what you really can do to really build up some nice soundtracks and TV and film scores uh, for your project. So it's definitely something worth checking out. All right, so let's get right into it and get down to business. All right, so starting off, just looking at the basic GUI. I mean, I really like the way it looks. Um, it's got your basic user functions, um, ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. We have our tuning of each patch, um, A and B. Um, we got our width, make it sound wider. Um, I'll turn this down so you can just hear A and do a width test on that. And we can turn the effects on and off from here. Turn V back up. You just kind of want a dry mix. Turn it back on. And what I've noticed also when I was going through um, playing with some of the sounds and presets on it, um, it gives you two selections of the different waveforms to select and choose. And pick your own combinations of the um, different samples that's in the system here. Um, so when you first load it up, um, it starts off, welcome to Ambition. Just a basic pad sound. Nice soft pads. And let's say without going to the next preset, I can actually change the different samples um, that's in the standard preset here. So I'll just go through and and that's on A and we'll switch B. And if you want a list to see what's available, you can just actually click on the preset list here and it gives you a list of names and we'll scroll down a little bit so we can see. And we can see all the different combinations of the different sounds that we can select and change and alter and create our own presets. Nice ambiance. And what I also noticed that the randomized samples allows me to do random samples. Uh, if we scroll back up here, uh, where we're changing these sounds manually, um, we can actually scroll down and click on randomized samples and it's gonna give us a list of different combination of samples um, by the program. So we have this sound here. Click randomized samples. some of that echo and reverb off. I 
really one of the things I really look for in the software synth. Um, give us the option to mismatch and change different combinations. There's a few of them out there that do it, but some of them, you know, we're kind of just stuck with the same basic presets that supply to us, and you know, we're kind of stuck using it without changing the filters and LFOs and different settings. And it's kind of nice and miss and match the different samples that's within the program. Uh, it really gives you the flexibility to do some nice sound designing and entry level step into sound designing. Um, so I really dig that about it. You know, another cool feature also I noticed um, because we have the ADSR features on this, I don't actually have to stick with the soft attack. I can really change the attack on a lot of these sounds so it starts right away. <laughs> So nice editing there it just gives us more flexibility in designing the sounds um, You have your mix a and your mix B. So if I want to turn down the volume on one of the samples I'm gonna just turn it on a and just have B going and turn it up if I need to Or turn that all the way down And if I just want a to play And if you scroll down a little bit more, this is where all the magic happens, I notice. Um, we have the EQ. Uh, we'll just enable it by clicking on A and B for the both sides. And you have a nice EQ. You have compression. Um, you have distortion effects. Um, Lo-fi. You have your saturation. Uh, we have coarse. We have delay and reverb. You know, kind of pretty much standard in a lot of these softwares now. Um, but what's nice is we get a chance to sculpt the sounds. Uh, we can change the direction of the echoes. Um, we have the breath controller for reverb. And to start off at the presets, um, what's available by the factory. Um, we can just use the drop down menu here. We have evolving, um, a list of evolving sounds. Click the next sound, just click on the little arrow here. Little pitch bend there. I like to add a little pitch bend modulation to my sounds. You know, just kind of scroll through a few of them at random and won't go through all of them and really take a lot of time, but um, just to see what's available there. Yeah. That's a really nice one, really evolving type of sounds there. <laughs> we'll check this out. Uh, Shaking up. Check out some keys. Nice bedtime story there. What do we have next here? Love how the sound just keeps going and evolving to something else. Really start to do some sound shaping there as you keep holding down the keys and do a nice long sustain. It really evolves into something else there. Love that.
move on to pads. Just random pads we're just choosing here. Big sounds, love them. You know, one thing I want to mention also, um, I've been a contact user for a while. Um, and what I like to do to really give me a different tone um, other than what's given to me by the factory, I like to tune my synths down or effects down a lot of times. You really get a different feel and sound. Um, and this really creates something totally different. So, you know, when I tune it down, it just really gives me a nice low end effect. I just want something that's more ambient. I do a lot of uh, film, TV scoring, composing. So a lot of times I'm looking for um, particular ambient sounds that I can't really replicate and create three cues and really give me that bottom end. So a lot of times to create layers on top of my existing sense and soundscapes that I create, um, I detune my sense to really give me that bottom end. can't really get it out of it if you just keep it at the normal scale. Very cool. And also notice that we have a nice LFO section um, down here. I usually keep this on um, at all times, um, you know, from previous synths that I've used. It's really handy when you really want to start shaping the sound of the samples and the synths um, on the software. And this is really nice. We'll go through a couple of them and change some of the settings and let you check them out. And it also has a sync, so we can sync to the BPM of the DAW, which is really nice.
good amount of sounds um, out of Ambition. Um, like I say, it, it does provide something um, that I think any composer uh, for film and TV uh, would definitely want in their arsenal. I mean, there's so many different possibilities that you can create your own sounds out of this thing. Um, like I say, by going to the menu and using a drop down and choosing a variety of different textures and, and colors and the palette here. I mean, it's just endless of the different combinations that you can really create on your own and then go ahead and back and add effects and really change it and shape it into something that is in stock. Um, you know, I really like shaping and designing my own sounds and this really gives you uh, an, an open format of creating your own um, sonic textures in, in your composition. So I really think this is really helpful for anybody that's really getting into the game of film and TV. Um, definitely essential tool to have. Hats off to Sound Yeti. I mean, you guys really did a great job on this. And to close out the demo, I created a, just a demonstration of using ambition of, you know, of, you know cutting a soundtrack type of work um, for TV and film. Um, again, I just wanted to put something into a, like a, a sound or a song format. Um, it's not long, but it's just maybe 55 seconds to a minute, but then you can really see and hear um, the combination of all the sounds together using Ambition. Sometimes we'll do a demo and just going through the presets and patches just doesn't do it. For me, I like to really see what it sounds like um, in a composition or a song. I'm not just with one or two tracks, so I just, everything that you hear, it's all done on Ambition. And no effects, this is just straight out the box, um, using Ambition and tracking and Cubase, so nothing special there, but um, just it really gives you an idea of what the possibilities could be when you use this in your own compositions. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Until next time, you guys keep it tight. Peace.